Makala Falahia to my name is Felicia Brown Hecton from the Rocker Polynesia Nui. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Piet Mal. Kia ora. I'm Ramon Tawake. Um, I am Te Rarua and Ngāti Whātua. Today on Queens of the Kitchen, we are making chop suey. Today I've got chop suey, sopa suey. I've got it plated here with some yummy long grain rice um, with a beautiful garnish of spring onion. It's a corned beef and a pork chop suey. Wow, this dish looks amazing. It has a little bit of green things on it. I like the colour instantly. It looks healthy, it looks really delicious. I actually want to try it. Um, I'm a fan of healthy food. Nice, I saw that she chopped up her vermicelli really well. <laughs> it's a bit wet. I don't know if that's meant to be. I actually like it. It's not too bad. It's not a chop suey I've had before. I can definitely taste corned beef in here, but I don't... The green gives some type of, like, freshness to it. I think this is pork. Wow. It's got, like, a sense of history and, like, they've cooked this a million times before. I've never had chop suey with... with bovi and bua in it. OK. I'm just going to chuck it out there. Go nine. I know. Wait. I would rate this chop suey a nine. In the words of RuPaul's Drag Race, ten. Shante, you stay. What can I say? This is my version of chop suey. Um, it's just so elegant on the plate. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. With a little sprinkle of coriander on top to keep that freshness, and I've used a bit of chilli and ginger because I'm just obsessed with, like, a bite in my food. Ooh. Yes, wow, I am shooketh off my hookers because this looks very healthy, super sweet. This looks like it's been brought from a restaurant. So I think she was going for that, um, Tank salad feel. Let's taste this. There's no dedication. They just hack the poor meat. Like, honestly, I could choke on this, people. And this is what happens when you cut the noodles too small. Like, it's hard to get anything on. See how many scoops is that? It's like this tenth time now, and still look. I probably would give this a, a nine. Out of ten, I would give this a four. I'll give this one a five because everything else is amazing except for the meat. Well, in front of me, I have my um, amazing um, and delicious supper sui, just chop sui in English. Yeah. It's so awesome because it's not only made of all these balang ingredients, but it's also made with extra alofa. When I look at this chop soy, it reminds me of one of those Chinese takeaways in Avondale. It's been sort of sitting in the Bay Marie for like six hours. Mmm, smells good. Really good how they've cut the vermicelli. This is a nice drop off the fork. I appreciate that. There's all the soy and no chop. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it an eight. I rate this chop soy a six. It's not anemic, so I would probably give this an extra mark, and I would rate this a seven out of ten. Today I have my own version of chop soy. I just kind of made it from scratch. I have a weird palate. I'm not a massive fan of salt. Um, so my chop soy would be very different compared to the others, I'm very sure. Ooh. Ah, oh, okay. My first impression of this chop soy is it's not enough soy sauce for me. It looks very anemic. We like to make it dark. Like my skin. Mm. I mean, it's something I might feed my cat. 
This is one of my pet peeves when it comes to chop suey. This is when they don't take enough time to use their scissors and chop it. Oh, it's a bit dry in there as well. It looks much better than it tastes. Really salty. I would give this chop suey maybe a six. I'll give this one a five. I can taste like the lingering impact of, I don't know, regret in my mouth, but I'd say three.